So I got a question recently. It was about why men say they want a woman who has her own, yet when it comes down to it, they're intimidated by her independence. And I can imagine that being an issue, especially now that women are earning more than they ever did. According to Forbes, black women in particular are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs. So where does that leave men? Well, despite these changes, men are still expected to be the breadwinners. The same way that society judges a woman sexually for how much respect she deserves, a man is judged financially for how much respect he deserves. Or as eloquently put by a woman recently, money puts the M in man. And if he doesn't have the M, he's just an, which is what I'm going to get me, and another nigga. Being that the quote went viral, it's safe to say that men are coming across women with the mentality that they ain't shit if they ain't rich. So why would a man want to fight this world war for his respect just to come home and fight that civil war? Now, I've personally come across women who understand that. And they're not trying to emasculate a man just because they make more money, but at the same time, they're confused. Because on one hand, we say we want a woman that's going to hold it down until we get on our feet. But even when we do get on our feet, we never get on one knee and commit. Or we say we need a woman who's going to help us reach our full potential. Except when we come up, we switch up and leave her for a woman who we feel like is more on our new level. Or even worse, when they want to build with us, but we simply won't do better. Which is why a lot of dudes get intimidated. Not because the woman is independent, but because we have to step our game up in order to keep her. See, as a man, you can go get yourself a welfare queen, and you can still blow your money on weed, scratch-offs, and flaming Hot Cheetos, but a successful woman going to require you to get those priorities straight. And it's only so many times she's going to get her ass up and go to work while seeing you sleep in before she changes the locks, the Netflix password, and tells you to pack your duffel bag and go. But long before a woman gives up on us, she's already tried her best to push us to be better. The problem is when we confuse it as her pushing us around. Let me ask you something. Where would Barack be if he told Michelle, you got to let a man be a man. Why are you trying to control me? When she was his mentor, making him focus on his work. Probably wouldn't be in the White House. My point is, if you want to feel like a man in your house and be respected, that's cool. But the smart thing is not to get a woman who requires less, but to get a woman who requires more and give her more to respect. 